Kaji here. So there's so much hype around the Amplified Alien Wi-Fi 6 router and I've been using the Alien, uh, well this is the box, this is not the actual router but I'm sure you know it. Um, I've been using this for about uh, two, three weeks now and I definitely have some thoughts on it. I don't think it's quite as good as a lot of people think it is. First off, there are several Wi-Fi routers, uh, Wi-Fi 6 routers on the market and the Amplified Alien is probably one of the most um, hyped up routers on the market. So I've been using the Alien and also the Linksys VLOP MX5. Both of them are um, Wi-Fi 6 mesh router. Um, but I only have one single node because I live in an apartment and it's pretty small so I don't need multiple nodes. So I just got one node for, for each of the system, both Wi-Fi 6. And I really do see a huge difference between the two in performance. It is a beautiful router, no doubt about that. I love how it looks. It looks clean. It looks cool. It looks futuristic. It looks, it looks out of this world. And uh, it has a nice screen in the front of that. At first I thought that, you know, having a screen on the router doesn't really matter. Um, and it probably doesn't for a lot of people, but for me, I think it's really cool if you put it, it can, instead of, you know, your router being hidden away somewhere, this you can put it out in the open, maybe next to your speakers or whatever on the counter, and it looks really cool. Um, the screen actually provides a lot of information, uh, real-time information, not a lot, but useful information that you can just like, take a glance at it and you can see what the status of the current network is, how much upload, what devices are using, uh, you know, the bandwidth, the, the internet currently, and, and it's a touch screen, so you can actually touch on it, go, you know, do the speed test on there without locking on your phone, so do it directly on the router. Do some settings on there, adjust the brightness of the display, or the, the volume of the router, I don't know why it has a speaker, but it does. And it even vibrates, so it has a haptic uh, feedback when you touch the screen. So all this is really cool, but the biggest thing though, does it perform and um, is it worth the money? So. Uh, besides that, it has a uh, one gigabit Ethernet connection for the for the internet, you know, connect to your modem, and then it has four Ethernet ports, one gigabit each. And within the Alien is a 2.2 gigahertz quad core CPU, so that should be powerful enough for the router to uh, manage the traffic and and do whatever calculations and operations it needs to do to to manage the network. And it also has a very nice but simplified um, app that you can use to manage your router and check the status and do all kind of settings, uh, you know, provides you very good information, um, very basic settings, but those are pretty much all most of the users will need anyways. And it was really easy to set up. It literally took one minute, a bit less than a minute probably, for me to set up the, the device. So all that is good, it's, it's nice router, awesome display, looks amazing, gives you a lot of information. But here are the, uh, the gotchas that you need to know before you decide to buy the router. So first of all, it's a Wi-Fi 6 router, but it doesn't support the WPA3 Wi-Fi security uh, standard. It also doesn't support 160 megahertz bandwidth. So, so what does that mean? It supports, I, I believe, 20, 40, and 80 megahertz bandwidth, and that's it for, for the channel. But all those different technologies doesn't really matter, right? Because it all comes down to the real world use, at least to me. Um, but the problem is, it's not good. Let me explain. So, the WPA3 is not really a problem for me, that's fine, I, I'm fine with WPA2. But the real problem for me though is that it doesn't allow you to change the Wi-Fi 6 channel. I believe it's locked to channel 157. So if you happen to live somewhere where your neighbors uh, have routers that are on that channel, it's not going to be good, it's going to interfere with each other and you're going to see degraded performance. This is the Wi-Fi Analyzer app 
that I purchased from the Windows App Store. It's a really nice little app that displays all the Wi-Fi networks around you and show them what channels they are on and the signal strength of each of the networks. And you can see there are quite a few Wi-Fi networks around me where I live. And kind of to the right, the WHOME 6 network, which is the Amplified Aliens uh, Wi-Fi 6 5 gigahertz network, is operating on channel 157 and is sharing the channel with five other Wi-Fi networks. And if you look closely at all the other networks on channel 157, you can see that some of them have pretty strong signals and I believe that would interfere with the transmission of data between the alien and its clients, resulting in the degraded performance that we're seeing. On the other hand, the Linksys broadcast is two Wi-Fi 6 networks at 5 gigahertz and one is on channel 44, which you can see that there's no other Wi-Fi network sharing that channel. And the other one is on channel 149, which shares with two other networks. With that in mind, let's take a quick look at a speed comparison between the Alien and the Linksys. Right here, I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max connected to the Amplified Alien. I have done about 40 to 50 speed tests over the past couple of weeks, and I have been consistently getting about 400 to 500 megabits per second and maybe once or twice that it got over 650 megabits per second, which I then celebrated. In this particular instance, we got about 459 megabits per second down and about 558 megabits per second up. And right next to it, I have the Linksys VLOP MX5, which has the same setup as the Alien. It's connected to the modem over an Ethernet connection. And with the same iPhone 11 Pro Max, the speed I'm seeing on the Linksys is way faster on average than the Alien. In this particular instance, it's uh, 780, 790 megabits per second down and over 600 megabits per second up. I've also done this 50 to 60 times in the past couple of weeks and the speed has been consistent as well. So if you take a look at the Amplify support forums, all these issues and more have been raised up on, you know, on the forum and they all, most of them, including the WPA3, the 160 megahertz uh, issue and the, you know, changing the channel on Wi-Fi 6, all these have been reported and have been told, we have been told by Amplify that they're working on it, it's going to be available with the firmware update. The problem is it has been several months since they um, promised or made that promise and there has not been any real progress on those at all. They cannot provide the timeline of when the feature is going to be available. All they say is that it'll be available at some point. Don't know when. So and that's a problem. So as you see with the comparisons uh, between the Alien, the Amplified Alien and the Linksys VLOP, MX5 that I have, it's quite a bit slower. So, I don't know. Should I keep it? Should I return it? I'm still within the 30 days window. So all in all, the Amplified Alien is a nice looking router, no doubt. Love the screen, love the app and the usability, easy, how easy it is to use. Everything is great with the average speed of about 400 to 500 megabits per second it's really not that much better than my Wi-Fi 5 uh, router that AT&T provides or that I rent every month it's all in one unit modem and router so I it's kind of hard for me to justify the uh, the you know, $400 about $400 with taxes that I paid for the alien and also, based on the empty promises that all of these performance issues is going to be fixed, I don't think it's worth keeping. So I'm going to think about it really hard, uh, you know, whether I should keep or keep it or not. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's worth the, the $300 to $400 for this Wi-Fi 6 router with these empty promises that it could potentially get awesome in the future or, sh or would you return it and maybe buy it again in the future if it's 
you know, all of those problems are, are solved. Of course, we're not even talking about the Wi-Fi 6E. That's probably going to materialize in the next couple of years. Interestingly, while I was editing this video ready to upload, Amplify had pushed a new beta firmware, version 3.4.3, .3, release candidate 2. And it seemed to have changed the Wi-Fi channel from 157 to 153, which seemed to have improved the performance. And now I'm seeing somewhere around 500 to 650 and sometimes touching 700 megabits per second now on the Alien. Still not quite the speed of the Linksys, but it's getting closer. Disappointingly, however, it still doesn't let you change the channel on Wi-Fi 6. Regardless, it's still a very good sign that the Amplify team is working constantly to improve the performance and the additional features promised, I just kind of wish that they communicate the time frame a little better, you know, so we can kind of see the light, that light at the end of the tunnel. But I also understand that some of the features requires regulatory approvals and all kind of stuff, but at least communicate to us. We can take it and maybe we can even be patient. As always, let me know if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as quick as I can. And of course, like and subscribe if you like this video. Peace.